In this video, I'll give you a quick review of the Aki 87 key mechanical keyboard. It's a really cool and affordable keyboard with blue switches and lighting effects for less than $40. I'll go over the pros and cons. That's coming up next on Tech Gumbo. I received the Aki 87 key mechanical keyboard last week. Normally, I don't do reviews on this channel, but after using it for a few days, I thought it might be something you all might be interested in checking out. The keyboard retails on Amazon for less than $40, which is a really good price for an LED backlit mechanical keyboard. I took some pictures and video of the keyboard and packaging. Let's go check those out. When the keyboard arrives, it is packed in this plain brown packaging with a picture of the keyboard on top. Inside the box are the keyboard, a key puller, and the user manual, which is useful for learning the function keys and offers tips and suggestions, including how to record your own custom lighting effects. Also included in the package is a 24-month product warranty from Aki. I'm going to leave it on this picture for a bit so you can check out the keyboard layout. You'll first notice that the keys have a weird font, which takes some getting used to, and it is also missing a number pad on the far right. So for those of you that do a lot of data entry, this may not be the keyboard for you. Aki also makes a 104 key variation, which includes the number pad. I'll provide a link to that one in the description as well. Missing on the top row are dedicated keys. To change the lighting effects, increase or decrease volume, and other tasks are handled by the function key in the bottom row in combination with another key. They list over 30 different combinations in the user manual. It's also quite a bit heavier than the keyboards you may be used to using, which I really like. It also includes rubber on the back of the keyboard, including the flip outs to keep the keyboard in place. Here's what the keyboard looks like from the side. As you can see, there is good height between the keys and the keyboard. There are six rows that are LED backlit with different colors. The colors cannot be changed. There are eight preset lighting effects plus two slots available for customized lighting effects. I'll show you what some of those look like right now. The keyboard includes out emu blue switches which are very similar sounding to Cherry MX blue switches. They deliver a crisp, audible click sound when you press the keys. Here's what that sounds like. The only downside I can see for some folks is the number pad not being included. But as I mentioned earlier, Aki does make a variant that does include the number pad. Other than that, I would highly recommend this keyboard because it is heavy duty with a small footprint for those with limited desk space, has great lighting effects, and has a really good audible sound for those that are into gaming or for general everyday use. For less than 40 bucks, it's hard to beat the quality of this keyboard for the price. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Let me know in the comments your impressions of this keyboard. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button for more reviews and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.